Alrighty, so we're going to be messing around with the new Demon Lord Claimin' boss that came out with the new Slime Collab. And uh, honestly, this thing is very confusing to me because I've looked over all of his skills and everything like that. And just for some reason, Phase 2 is just so odd. Um, the basic gist is, uh, this is the team that we're going to be using, by the way. Um, basically, the idea here, if you don't have any of these characters, they're easily sub subbed out. Um... Chandler is here for a counter for phase two because counters are actually pretty good. Um, Cusack is here because not only is he a decent DPS, but he actually has an ultimate removal because the ult uh, on claiming is kind of annoying. It puts uh, four ignites on you and it cancels stances, so you don't want that. Um, Sariel is just here, not really that great of a unit to be honest for this specifically, but he's a decent DPS. Uh, and then Brunhild is also a DPS. So if you really want anything super specific, you can also run a cleanse if you have Margaret. Margaret is also pretty good for this. Uh, but we're running counter, um, ultimate removal, and then DPSs. So. We're going to hop in. I only have one left because we were experimenting with this a lot on stream. If you want to, feel free to go back and look at my summons stream or whatever and skip towards the end. Uh, we were messing around with it quite a bit to try to see what was good and what worked. And I was trying to take suggestions from chat and everything, but I could only do so many of them because you can only do this five times a day. But uh, yeah, the basic gist of the boss himself is the lower HP he gets, the more attack buffs he gets, which means that he'll do more damage to you. So you want to try to avoid that if possible. So we're going to throw uh, just some DPS cards out here. Try to get him uh, a little bit on the lower side. You want, you don't want to do too much damage because then he's going to get a lot of attack buffs and then that's going to result in him killing you uh, or just dealing a lot of damage to you. And if he gets his, uh, he gets three different buffs. The last one is like an all stats buff, which means he gets lifesteal um, and it can help him regen quite a bit of HP back. And that's definitely something that you want to avoid if possible. So so if you can try to get him a decent amount you know of HP left and then try to go for like a, a turn like a turn where you just completely go for the win um, I think what we'll do is we'll use one of these one of these um, I guess we'll just go ahead and get rid of this card and maybe move a card. I didn't have it pulled any other, um, whatchamacallit, uh, sorry I might end up doing too much damage here, which might be bad. You also, another thing with phase two is you don't, oh no, he got it. All right, it's not the worst thing in the world, but he, he will start doing some pretty big damage. Um, but yeah, so phase two, you don't want to really bring in any sort of crazy that was bad. Uh, you don't want to bring in any sort of like high leveled cards because they don't really do anything for you. Um, the higher level card, it, it seems like the worse it is, which is very odd. Um, I actually, I don't think we're going to be able to kill here. Okay, that actually dealt pretty decent damage. 50k, 50k. Um, I don't think we kill. You know, uh, okay, well, never mind. That was my last card. I'm dumb. This might actually be a, a reset. Yeah, let me reset one uh, really quickly and we'll try it again. I think I'm going to get rid of Sario. All right, I swapped it out. We're using green Escanor for whatever reason. Uh, I've used the one Escanor and he doesn't really seem to be all that great in this game mode. Uh, like he just, I don't know, his cards just don't deal as much as you would expect them to. And it just, I don't know, it just kind of ends up being lackluster his ultimate is actually really bad in phase two which is hilarious like it just deals like very very little damage so that's kind of odd but I, I don't know this just the whole fight it it seems like none of the passives work the way that it works in the game i guess like he's just he's reducing your damage by so much and everything and there are like hit some of his passives do say like hey you know this is going to be reducing your damage blah 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 but it just it doesn't seem like it's the way that it should be i don't know it just it's kind of annoying because you can't deal too much damage to him but what are you gonna do i guess all right so we really need to see if we can kill this next turn we got another stance card for phase two which is good I just need to make sure that I can kill this phase. So let's go ahead and just go full DPS here. 
Hopefully this kills. Yeah, we should be good. So now he's buffed his stats, which is very bad, but... Nice. All right, going into phase two. Uh, I, you can run Gother on the team, but it doesn't seem to be really all that worth it because in phase two, you don't want to use high level cards, really. Um, so I don't know, like sometimes using a level three card is just dealing literally no damage. Whereas using, you know, any other card is just not, I don't know. It just, the bronze cards do better for some reason. It's very, very, very weird. So we're just going to try to set up a little bit here. Do a little bit of damage. Take off an ultimate move gauge. We've got some ults in hand. Like I said, the ults really might be hit or miss here. We'll try them out for video's sake. But it just, I don't know. It's just such an odd game mode. Like we're only doing 40k for counters. So it's not anything super crazy. Um, we'll use a bronze card here. This will actually heal us a little bit depending on how much damage it does, but we'll see I guess so 52k uh, 44k we might end up getting the uh, Yeah, I think we're gonna give him the buff here See he did 92k for whatever reason it's almost like the lower the ult level or like the worse the card is the better it does in this game mode i really don't understand if you have any actual insight on it please let me know because it really just baffles me it just doesn't seem like it makes any sense which is hilarious but also very frustrating so he has healed quite a bit we don't have any um cards uh from chandler so we can't take off the ultimate move gauge which is very unfortunate i'll i'll even try to show you that the gold cards don't do much damage but 29k he can't be debuffed either so that's also very bad he's got full ultimate move gauge maybe this does something maybe it doesn't 77k is not awful gold card on escanor boom okay that one for some reason did good damage but it just i don't know it's so hit or miss some cards do really well so other cards do really bad it just it's so weird <laughs> like it just doesn't make any sense to me it's just so odd but yeah, uh, we've tried full festival teams. We've tried everything. And I mean, we've gotten pretty decent wins, like pretty easily, but it just, <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. I don't know. Uh, give me a second really quickly. We'll swap over to something that's better. Alrighty, so this seems to be what people are calling the best team. Not sure. There was a couple of people in chat that gave me either this team or something very similar to the team. Um, so we're just going to mess around with it a little bit. Obviously, uh, pretty heavy on either, you know, Sariel's a newer character. Maybe you didn't summon for him. Cusack's a festival unit that a lot of people skipped and hasn't been on too many banners. Trader Melly is, you know, a really good unit. Hopefully you have him. If you don't, I don't know what to tell you. He's just kind of a one-of-a-kind unit. And then Brunhild as a Ragnarok character, which, I mean, has been on a decent amount of banners. Maybe you've pulled her. Maybe you haven't. It's just kind of one of those things that's up in the air. But, I don't know. Very weird as, like, the best team. But, I mean, it, it does its job. It works. It, you know, I guess that's all that really matters. As long as it works, then that's what counts. So... Alright. Um, the fact that that merge is not great... I don't know if we'll kill here. I almost think it would be better to wait a turn, but I'm not positive if that's the best move. I think we will. Let's throw this out. Throw this out. Merge these. And... I don't know. Move, well, do we really want to get an ult? I don't think ult's really the best way to go here, so we'll move that. All right, a little bit of damage, a little bit of damage. Also removes the ult. That puts us a little closer. Honestly, with his natural lifesteal, he may end up getting back to where we just were. Not sure. Okay, he's starting to deal a decent amount of damage to it, which is bad. So we're going to use single target. We'll use the level 2 because the level 2 is worse somehow in phase 2. We'll use this. We'll use this. All right, Cusack. Goaded. Very good. Level 2 card here. Kills. Very nice. Alright, and then we go into Phase 2. Phase 2 is just really where the game mode loses me. Like, it just really is like, I don't know what's happening. 
Um, so we have bronze cards, which seem to be what everybody is telling me is the best. Um, I think the people in the chat were telling me that if you use a level two taunt and then you use all bronze cards, you will kill one turn in phase two or two turns maybe it is because of the counter damage or whatever. So I guess we'll see. But <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes counters do good. Sometimes they do bad. I just, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm baffled. 40K, 41K. Nothing crazy so far. This one's might hurt. Into 31k. See, it, it's going down. I just <laughs> I don't get it. All right. Anyway, um, it's got full ultimate move gauge, so we'll just use stuff like this because I honestly believe that the ults are just not going to do anything, uh, or they'll just do not great. So this should be enough to kill. You can see, boom, bam. This will probably be the team that I end up using for this event. I don't know. It's just very odd. I just don't really get it. So <laughs> that's how I'm beating it. That's how maybe if you have the units, you can beat it. There's a lot of options. I did. I mean, like I said, if you look back and you like watch me mess around with it a bit, there was a lot of teams that I could have beat it with. Uh, and there was teams that I did beat it with that were a little weird or just kind of all over the place. But I guess that's just all that matters is making sure he doesn't get the ultimate move gauge and dealing consistent enough damage to where you can actually whittle him down uh, without getting him completely buffed up seems to be the play. So I know that's a lot to take in. I know it's a weird boss. If you have any team suggestions or anything that worked uh, for you, feel free to leave those down in the comments below. Maybe it'll help somebody out, but that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe if you have not already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.